Right, hello everyone. Uh, we're going to do a lesson today about friction. And this, we're going to do a uh, practical, we're going to do a little investigation, and this is the equipment we're going to use. An empty tray, got a force meter, measured in, in newtons. You zoom in on the force meter. And go. Lovely. And we've got some slotted masses broken slotted masses and these are going to be put into the tray just to uh, give the tray some extra mass just so it pushes down on the surface a bit more. Uh, we're also <coughs> going to be using a few different surfaces. So first of all I think we're going to use this table. Secondly I think we're going to use the carpet and this is the carpet in the school library. There it is. Uh, thirdly, you follow me around here. The red carpet in the school library. Then comes and goes like Okay, I've got the blue carpet outside the library, which is a little bit rougher. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the amount of mass that's inside it. So we're going to go for the tray by itself, then we're going to go for one kilo, two kilos, three kilos, and then four kilos. Now, you are, you are going to write down uh, the reading on the force meter. So if you can pause the video as you do it, please write down these five different uh, readings. So you might want to make yourself a results table. So the thing that we're going to change in the experiment is going to be the mass. We're starting off with zero mass, zero added mass with just the tray. Then it's one kilo, two kilos, three kilos, four kilos. Uh, and the thing that we're going to measure is going to be the uh, amount of force that we need to pull it with, the amount of frictional force that we need to pull it with. So uh, if you want to make your results table now, I'll pause the video. Right. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that our new meter starts at zero so we don't get what's called a zero error which at the moment is starting at zero which is pretty good and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the tray along with zero masses inside it so this is just the tray so let's pull it along now notice what's happening to the frictional force and this is the frictional force that I'm measuring so it's zero and as I pull it it's getting bigger and bigger until there's a point where it just gives like that. And that's how friction works. Friction is acting in that direction. I'm pulling it in this direction and friction gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It opposes the motion until eventually my force equals the friction and I can pull it along at this steady speed. Now, if I do that again and we zoom into the force meter, so you should be able to take your first reading on the force meter. Is that reading there? Now we've got uh, one kilo of mass we're going to put in there, and we're going to do the same thing again. So this is one kilo of mass. So see, and obviously this time it's going to take a much bigger force to pull it along. And there it is. So if you want to zoom in on that force meter. Okay. Right, two kilos of added mass. So it's obviously going to take a bigger force to pull this time. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can get that measured. So. Three kilos of added mass. Let's go again. There you go. Right, let's see if we can measure that one. Oh, hold on. It's gripping a bit. There you go. Four kilos of added mass. Let's give it a go. It takes a bit to get going. Oh, there you go. Right, let's zoom in on that. Right then, 
then for the second part of the experiment, uh, we are going to change something slightly different. So instead of changing the mass that's in inside our tray, uh, we are going to change the surface that we uh, that we pull it on. So we're going to change the surface. We're going to keep the same mass at this each time. We've got 1.8 kilos in there because it works. Thanks, Joe. And we're going to pull it along a lot of different surfaces. So. If you want to make your results table now, you'll need, we're changing the surface, uh, we're measuring the force that we need to pull it with. And the surfaces that we've got is we've got, first of all, a smooth table, smooth wooden table. We've got the library carpet, the blue library carpet. We've got the red carpet uh, on the library stairs. So that's this one, if you want to come over here and have a look. It's there. Okay, we've got a coffee table. And we've also got the dark blue carpet. That's in the main corridors. So let's get the light on, hopefully you can see it all right. Stay. 